And this is absolutely stupid. And anyone who does it just wants 15 minutes of fame on social media. That's right. But you didn't hear it from me because I'm not the one that said that. Guess who did? Yes, that's right. The person that made this. <laughs> so old Ed uh, had said that in an article. Now they asked him about competitive uh, spicy competitions. And um, so what you're going to get is you're going to get the people that are going to say, well, he's not talking about that. He's talking about pepper eating contest. He's not talking about these spicy challenges. No, no, no. He ain't talking about the choco, the white lightning stuff that he's made. He's not talking about the dual chip. He's not talking about those kind of challenges. He's talking about pepper eating contest. That's right. Wait a minute. Well, what about the pepper eating contest that he hosted in front of Pucker Butt Pepper Company for Netflix? Okay, we're here to have fun, and we're here to succeed. And what you're going to see tonight is the most extreme chill eating challenge ever. Most places... Yeah, yeah. I guess they forgot about that one. So, um, anyways, I think I'll put the screenshot up of him saying that. But then again, it is a news article, guys. It is a news article. You remember what happened with the last news article? Well... The last news article, there was a couple, there was one where, and I'm paraphrasing, it said that he was feeling the effects of eating a pepper for three hours, right? And then there was the other one where he said he was feeling the heat for three hours or more than three hours. I'll look for the screenshot and put it up there. So when that happened, and I'm going to be truthful, that was what really, like, I was... Because I really never looked into this stuff. I've seen people arguing online about what Ed said, what he didn't say. I've seen some contradictions over the years. Um, but boy, ever since the Pepper X thing, it has definitely, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff came out. And so some of his followers were saying that the news article misquoted him. Other ones were saying that, no, 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 he was talking about cramps. He wasn't talking about the heat. He wasn't talking about the effects of the pepper in that way, even though the general public all believe that he was burning from a single pepper for three hours or a couple hours. And then, after all that, he gets on the news a couple days ago, and guess what he says? Here was, it was quite the experience. Yeah, uh, the heat was unbearable for a couple of hours. And then the cramps were unbearable well, for a lot longer. There it is, straight out of the horse's mouth. Anyways, I said I was done talking about this stuff, and then guess what? Another news article comes out. He says it for himself. So nobody believes that. It's false advertising all the way. It's to make people think something is more extreme than it is. And people believe it. I've seen people online. They say it must be the world's hottest pepper. It's burning people for three hours. And I say, no, it, nothing can burn you for three hours. I don't care if you're doing 16 million tincture. You're not going to burn that long. But I'm going to do these two dual chips. And I absolutely love these things. And I'll put my disclaimer here. Um, get me two points on the board. And by the way, I love a lot of products that are made by Ed. I have posted the test thing for the sauce, and I posted, shared a clip where he uh, claimed that his old <coughs> pepper X sauce was 2.4 million in some groups, hot sauce groups, where people have been debating it ah, for years, arguing like crazy in there. Well, I posted up him saying it. I posted up that test result post. And guess what? They were removed for bullying. I didn't say anything. I just shared the post. That's it. So, you see where this is going. 
Nobody wants the truth. If I came out with a hot sauce and I said, I have this pepper, let me test at 4 million. Didn't show any test results, none of that. I would get a big platform and do it, right? There would be people, ah, there would be people that would rush out to buy it, okay? What I'd be doing is creating a buzz around it. And then when it's not that, you know, just ignore the, the haters. Anybody that questions it is a bully and is a hater. Remember that. So I'm just setting the record straight. Um, I just don't see how after all of that misinformation, you can go on the news a couple days later. And it was completely irrelevant. Um, he was on the news talking about how he hires ex-drug addicts and stuff. Ooh, he's building up on that second one pretty good. And I completely commend Ed Curry for that. I think it's great. I think he's got some great people working for him that deserve the second chance all day long. I think they make some great products. Extra mean green, gator sauce. There's more than that, but two of my favorite. They're in my top ten. <clears throat> At one point, they were my number one. But they're still up there. Maybe even my top five, okay? So, I'm not going to speak ill against a man for um, what he does. Hiring, you know, people give him a second chance. I commend him. Sauces. Now, I did have some of his newer sauces. Didn't like them as much. They were like the fruit based ones, whatever. But uh, it doesn't matter. Um, most of the sauces I've had from him were great. All right. So with that being said, like I said, I'm not going to keep talking about this stuff. But if something else comes out, if there's a claim that, you know, he cooked the pepper down and it is, yeah, added another that. pepper to it. And the two peppers in the pot so made a sauce that was seven million. Um, then I will talk about it because this is a free country. Okay. And I don't want people to keep, just keep bashing me for it. I'm sorry if you work for it. I'm sorry if you're friends with that. Those aren't even really the main people. The main people are these blind followers that they want a bottle of hot sauce for a Christmas giveaway and they're just willing to fight, fight, fight. When you ask them certain questions, they can't answer it, you know? You try to ask anybody, why do you have a red sauce with a green pot that you're promoting? I know that was made with a red pepper. I think that that red pepper is what tested high. Um, I mean, here, five years of testing and stabilization, the average on that pepper was allegedly, allegedly, on the green variant, 3.1 something million, 3.19, so basically 3.2 million was the average five years ago. Kind of fishy. Um, but yeah, he could have got a high off of a red pod. No, so basically, but I'm not allowed to ask any questions nowadays, so that's it. Uh, you guys heard it out of his own mouth, not mine. I'm just here to tell you, here's the facts, you know? But anyways, join me on my channel every day where I get absolutely stupid. Here was, it was quite the experience. Yeah, uh, the heat was unbearable for a couple of hours, and then the cramps were unbearable for a lot longer.